Today I'm going to show you the coolest way to store drills and drill batteries with some 3D printed brackets. Let's uh, see how this goes. This whole area of the shop's like a disorganized kaleidoscope. You don't really know where to look or how it works, but it just is the way that it is. So our goal here today is to get the drill, drill batteries, and drill charger organized so we can turn this in some sort of, you know, organized chaos instead of disorganized chaos. So have you ever been to a website where their search feature is just so awful that you end up Google searching that website and their product to actually find it on their website? Well, welcome to thingverse.com. Hope you enjoy your stay. Here's your Uncle Matt Dad Pro 2432 tip. Get on stlfinder.com. It's like the Google search for all of the different, you know, CAD file search things. And then type in what tool brand you have. We're a rigid house, so we don't, we don't allow anything else here. But Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, all of them have STL files that you can download and then print off or get somebody on Etsy to print for you. I printed off a couple different designers' parts. I ended up going with this one because it's small, compact, not gonna use a lot of plastic, and it allows the battery to slip in and out pretty nicely. I used to go to customers' locations to do all their builds and car audio nonsense, and I would have, I would have loved, my sanity would have loved a tighter fitting bracket though that I could have put in the back of our van or truck box. That way it would have actually stayed secure and not rattled around. Once you get all your brackets printed, be creative with your layout. Sometimes staggering tools gets you more space. That way you're not car ramrodding into each other and it just, it, you're gonna be happier that way. If you're gonna do your drill organization chaos solution on the side of your toolbox, put the drills towards the back. You know when you're walking through a parking lot and you got a lifted Brodozer 9000 with a lowering hitch on it sticking out three feet and you hit your shins on it? That's basically this. Put it towards the back edge and you probably won't have a problem unless you do. And maybe get an extra bracket or two while you're ordering them or, you know, you're printing them. I broke this one because I'm an idiot, but uh, you might break them because other reasons. Probably saying to yourself, Matt Dad, I, you said you, you're gonna charge the, you got a solution for chargers. Something like that. Go ahead and buy a pretty big rare earth neodymium magnet. You're gonna adhesive it, super glue it, whatever you need to do on the back of your charger. But hold on, because this is where this shit gets crazy. You're gonna put a whole bunch of layers of tape over it and then it's gonna look worse when you've got the tape on it. But go ahead and cut it all out so or square it up so it doesn't look awful. Now it's gonna protect this magnet from picking up metal shavings and a whole bunch of gross stuff and dragging it all over. And when this gets gross and nasty after a couple of months, peel it off, slap on a new tape daddy, and then you can just slap this guy wherever, just start slapping things. Like, well, don't, just, you know, put some magnets on, some chargers, I guess. And there you have it. Easy as one, two, four. You got any other suggestions for how to do this or how you store your things? Throw them in the comments below and I'll judge them accordingly. Now I can finally clean up the top of our workbench now that we've got all the propane and propane, ex nope, drill and drill accessories off of the top. Just look at it now. Wow, that's clean, Matt. It's probably what you're saying to yourself right now as you're looking at all that garbage. And then, well, you know, just, just focus on the end there. Yeah, that looks okay. And there you have it. And there you have it. And there you have it. <laughs> it's just easy as one, two, four.